What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. Uh, this might look familiar to a video I did two months ago, but it's different, so let me explain. Uh, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, this is a Bluetooth button. It connects with your phone, and basically what I want it to do is connect to my phone, and then I can control uh, using Tasker each click to do different things. So since I started my channel, one of my long-term goals is to get the best possible integration with Google Assistant uh, that I can possibly can with my car. Uh, I think having a button that I can just, you know, quickly click and then poof, Google Assistant will uh, pop up and integrate with my car is just something really cool and useful. So two months ago, I shared a button that looked similar, but it was different. So instead of having all these different uh, possibilities, it just had a single button. So you can click it once, you can double click it, or you can hold it down. Uh, with this one, you can see I have one, two, three, four, five different buttons, and those are just single clicks. Of course, we can do double taps. So you can have 10 different combinations plus holding. You can have 15 different combinations with the same button. Uh, this button in comparison is much cheaper. Uh, is actually a user, and I forget his name now, which is uh, my apologies, but he actually commented saying, hey, try this one. It is cheaper. So this is like $15 uh, versus the last one I shared, which was like 30 or 40 So uh, for a fraction of the cost, more more clickability, uh, more options, and it integrates really nicely with Tasker. So I'm going to show you how it works with Tasker first. Uh, the only task I'm going to show you is how to set it up with Google Assistant. And of course, you can extrapolate uh, what I show you to set it up with whatever you like. And then I will lastly show you how it works in the car where I mounted it. Uh, I have a really good location now and it works fantastic. So uh, let's go. I'll show you the Tasker video and then I'll take you to my car. All right, so we're going to set up Tasker. A uh, couple of things to note for this to work, you're going to need auto input and you're also going to need uh, Nova Launcher. Um, I'll show you more on that in just a sec. Nova Launcher is only if you want to do it for Google Assistant rather than uh, just generic Tesla related stuff. So we're going to open up Tasker and I'm going to start a new profile. We're going to start fresh so you guys can see this. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is go to state. And the reason why we're doing state is we want to make sure uh, this task is only ever happening when we're connected to Bluetooth, uh, to the Bluetooth button. So if we're not going to connect to the button, we don't want the phone to do anything. So we're going to hit search and here is our button here. And uh, I've already paired it in the background. So since I've opened up the button, I paired it to my phone and that's it. So now we're going to hit back and we're going to hit a new task and we're going to call it, uh, <laughs> my keyboard's not launching. We're just going to call it anonymous for now. Uh, we're going to hit the plus and then we're going to go scroll down to apps and this is where um, Nova Launcher comes into play. So in order for us to be able to access Google Assistant voice search, uh, we're actually gonna trigger it through Nova Launcher. I couldn't find another way to do this. So this is like I use Nova Launcher anyway, so I thought this was a good workaround, but you don't have to do this. Uh, this is only if you wanna have the button trigger Google Assistant. You can make it trigger like a hundred different things, uh, whatever you want. So. Uh, we're going to go to shortcut, uh, we're going to go to the search, and then I'm going to scroll down, and I scroll down too far maybe. Uh, we're going to go to Nova Actions, and it's going to pop up this menu now, and then we can go to Assistant. And when we hit back, uh, we can actually hit play, and up, and we're good so far. We can hit back, and then we're going to hit the check mark. So far, our button is not done yet. Uh, we still have to, I'm gonna uncheck this one. We still have to add it so whenever we press something on the button, we want it to trigger. So right now, every time it's connected, or every time you connect to your button, uh, it, Google Assistant's gonna appear. So we're gonna hover and hold on BT connected. We're gonna hit add. And then we're gonna hit uh, event. And we're gonna go down to plugins. We're gonna to go to auto input and we're gonna to go to key, configure, and we're gonna select our key. And basically what this is, is it's no different than having a uh, access to all the buttons on, on your little, on the button I showed you. So I think I scrolled down too far maybe. Uh, what we're looking for is uh, 
auto input key media next. And I guess I did not pass. Oh, here we go. We're in the media section. So here's all the media different stuff. We're going to go media next. That's the one we're going to pick. And if we hit the check mark, now anytime we hit media next with the button itself, uh, plus we're connected to Bluetooth. So both of them have to be uh, happening. You can see the plus between the two, then it will work. Uh, if we are not connected to Bluetooth, if I turn off Bluetooth and I hit uh, the media button, nothing's going to happen, obviously. So I have to be connected and I have to... Uh, I have to be connected through Bluetooth and I have to be clicking the next button. So it is that simple. Uh, now, every time we click next on that media button, instead of going to the next track, it's going to trigger this tasker profile, uh, which is going to trigger the task, which is going to trigger uh, Google Assistant to pop up on our device. So let me go, uh, I'm going to show you where I mount it in the car. It's like the best place possible. And then I'll show you how it works. Um, yeah, let's go. So I'm in the car now, as you can see, I'm in the passenger side and the button is under the armrest right over here. Uh, this is the old button. I have the new one here uh, for this video. This is for the video a few weeks ago. So this is where I'm putting the button. Uh, if you guys wanna know more information about how to get the button itself to function with your phone uh, a lot better, uh, watch that video, watch the end of that video. I'm not gonna go through the same exact process because it's just kind of silly, but there is an additional Android app you can use that allows uh, whenever your Google Assistant to pop up to be sent to your phone. Uh, so if you wanna install this, here's my tip. So lift up the armrest and then you have full access to it like so. So I'm gonna take off the old one, but basically it's gonna be like this, but on the other side, and then is like our new button's gonna sit here. So let me do that real quick and then I will show you uh, it working in the car. All right, I'm gonna show you guys an example of the button working now. It's just really nice because you can't tell where it is it just kind of sits in underneath the armrest. So there's no nothing on your wheel, there's nothing on anywhere. It's like really hidden, it's in a great spot. Your arm rests there, uh, you can click it at any time. So uh, again, watch the other video to explain to you how to set it up. But basically when you click the button, there's gonna be a pop-up here and uh, it's gonna activate as if it's a phone call and then you can ask it whatever you want. So we're gonna click the button, we're gonna ask what the temperature is on Mars because we have Mars in the background. What is the temperature on Mars? So you can see it popped up over here. Here's what I understood from Wikipedia. The surface temperature of Mars is about 20 degrees Celsius. Do you want a little more context? No. No. So that's pretty much the whole uh, button uh, installation and setup process. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, huge shout out. Um, thank you for suggesting the new button. It works a lot better. Uh, just more options on it. So as always guys, make sure to leave a like on the video if you thought this was helpful. Uh, make sure to uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought and do subscribe for the latest and greatest Tesla content. And most importantly, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.